Hello and welcome to a new player review. And this time I'm going to review this uh, new card right here, which is Fabian Delph from Everton. Uh, this guy is in the season objectives, um, which only lasts, uh, I would say, will only last uh, two, three weeks because you need 50,000 experience points to complete the whole thing. I think this card is geared towards the new players that uh, EA is expecting to be entering the game now during Christmas. Uh, a lot of people will be getting FIFA as a present. Uh, a lot of new people will be buying the game because it's going to be hugely discounted. So that's why I think this guy and the other card that's in these objectives, which is I think Santi Casola, um, don't look usable to players that started uh, when FIFA came out. But uh, I think these are not uh, cards geared and aimed towards those players. These are cards aimed towards new players um, that are just entering the game. So I thought at the beginning this guy doesn't really need a review who's going to be using this card in December. But then there are some people that might have a use of this card. So we're going to review this card just for the few of you uh, if there are any out there. Now uh, the one part for Delph that you might use him in a team is the links that he might give you. Uh, first of all you can put him here with uh, an English left back. Uh, at the beginning I also used uh, that Red Robertson I had. So you can put him here. Uh, put him here and use this Kent with another link up top and box him in so uh, you can use that new Ryan Kent that I think a lot of people have completed. Uh, other links that this guy can give you is from this side you can use that flashback Walcott here uh, for any of you that have him. Uh, you can use him with a strong link to the new Bauman um, footmiss card that we got in objectives as well. You can use him on this side and use that Scream Bernard up top for another strong link. Uh, and also for any strong links in the Prem, like English, uh, like the Deli Alleys or um, Harry Kane, and stuff like that. So this guy might give a few solutions to people in their team that are missing that link. That's for his links. Now as a card, if we have a look, um, he's 174, so he's not that tall, like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, somewhere around that area. He's medium high, so that's geared towards a defensive midfielder so, uh, so his role will be more of a CDM but his stats are not really there for a proper CDM which we're gonna have a look in a second. Uh, he's left footed and he's a three star three star. So on his face stats here uh, the main data are not looking that promising. As we go into further details we're gonna see his pace is alright at 76 acceleration and 71 sprint speed as I always said if there is a differential and your acceleration sprint speed is always nice to have the acceleration uh, higher than the sprint speed because that's the one that you need the most if you need the player to start running you need him to start running right away to cover that a uh, small distance so it's nice at least that his acceleration is higher than his sprint speed uh, his shooting is not that great attack positioning and finishing is very low he only has that shot power which is very nice at 87 and 80 long shots. So maybe this guy can take a few shots outside the box. His passing is um, okay. I would say average for a CM of a 76 vision, 76 crossing, uh, 86 short pass, which is nice, 80 long pass and 75 curve. Uh, his dribbling is his best stat, which is uh, very, very good. 86 agility, 89 balance, 81 reactions, 86 ball control, 80 dribbling and 79 composure. So these are very nice well-rounded stats here. Uh, his defending, if this is a guy geared towards uh, CDM, uh, his defending stats don't look that promising, although you can boost him with a big chem style like a Sentinel or a Shadow or something like that. So we have 80 interceptions, almost no heading accuracy, uh, defensive awareness 73, so not very good for a CDM, uh, 81 standing tackle and 79 slide tackle, and his physical uh, we see jumping 70, so that paired with his setting accuracy and also with his uh, height, which is not, he's not very tall, uh, means that you're not going to be getting a lot of balls in the air. Uh, 91 stamina, which is very good. It means this guy will run the whole uh, 90 minutes, even overtime, and will still be good to go. Uh, 67 strength, which is very low, but 88 aggression. So that's kind of okay, but... Uh, Still, if he's not strong enough, I don't know if his aggression will be good enough for him to win the ball back. Uh, what I went and did is I applied an engine for two reasons. Um, first, because I'm thinking of this card more as a CM, maybe more of a box-to-box -box with some defensive capabilities and not that many attacking, but 
You can use them in the midfield to pass the ball around and uh, give the ball uh, up front to your attackers to create some chances. And also, he has good defending and physicals to be able to um, win the ball in the midfield. Also, because I want to play this guy in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation with two CMs. So I'll, this is the first formation that I want to try this guy in as an actual CM and see how this guy works out. And now if I get a good sense of him in the first game, then I'll play a, a second game where I'm, I'm going to actually play him as a CDM and change his camp style to an anchor or a shadow and see how he actually performs in that CDM role. As you can see, the engine gives him 81 acceleration and 76 sprint speed, which is very nice. It gets to almost like a bare minimum that your CMs or midfielders will have at this stage in the game. Um, we improve his passing a lot, uh, which is 81 vision, 81 crossing, uh, 91 short pass and 90 long pass, which is fantastic there. And we incre increase his dribbling very, very nice. Uh, to 91 agility, 99 balance, 86 reactions, 91 ball control, and 90 dribbling. So these are good stats to have uh, improved as a CM. Uh, now we won't be taking too many shots with him, but I won't expect him to be getting close to the area since he's medium high, so more defensive work rates for him. And his defending and physical uh, might give us that uh, small edge in the midfield uh, with him to be able to win the ball back. So we'll go into a couple of games. Uh, like I said, we'll play him in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation, uh, which is gonna be this. We'll play him on the right side, and Tonali on the left side, and Guardiola as the CDM. So it probably is gonna be looking like we have three CDMs, but like I said, uh, the stats on Duff don't give me that much confidence in playing this guy as a CDM. So that's why we're gonna go like this and uh, see how this guy plays out. If he plays out good, then we'll switch to the 4-2-3-1 and play him as a proper CDM next to Guardiola and see how uh, his defensive capabilities are. So here we are in the first t game of uh, foot champions. Uh, probably gonna get our asses handed here. Morales, Ronaldo, Zola, Alan, Nangol, and this is gonna be a very hard team to beat, especially with the team that we're taking into this game. But, uh, we're here to have a look at this Fabian Delph and see if he's any good for you to actually use on your team. There we go. And what, what is he doing there? What the hell? What is he doing up there? Jesus Christ, get into position, man. So this guy defending. He has one, two, three, four, five players in the box and he's just standing there waiting for me to attack. With the team that he has and the team that I have, he's just waiting for me to attack. Look at the state of the FIFA that we're playing. This guy is playing me with Ronaldo and Zola and whoever, with Allen, Nangolan, and all these players against a team that I have Fabian Delph and Jamie Vardy, and he's not even trying to win the ball back. There he is. Oh no. Come on, Delph. There we go. Now he's in position. Oh. Again with his right foot, though. That was a good shot. Oh. Come on, Delph. Come on, Delph again. Oh, come on. I've taken more shots with Delph than anybody else. Although his shot is not that good. And he always keeps taking it with his right foot as well. That was a hard shot to make anyways. All right, first half there. Um, first of all, I don't know how Delph is uh, all the way up there in the attack, as you can see. We are the only ones that have the shots, but we only have one on target probably because all the shots were by uh, Delph. His accuracy is horrific, but like I said, he's been taking all his shots with his right foot. I don't know why. There we go. Come on, Delph. Yes, yes. You can't. Let's move her low. Excellent. There's Delph. Good pass. Go. Make it. Make it, Kent. 
What was that shot? So, come on, Joe. Again, he, where is he down? The cam position? There he is. Okay. Go. No. Bad control there. Go. Again with Doe. Go. Go, Kent. No. Come on. Come on, Kent. Oh my god, get a shot in. Oh my god. He's shushing me. Oh my god. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, so let's take this Kent guy out. Put in Morales. Put in Simon here. Um Delph on this side, take out Tonali and put in Royce. Yes, there we go. There's some back. Ah, a little toxic there because I don't know why this guy would shoot me when he scored the goal. It's not like he was missing any chances. So we made some much needed subs up top, at least. We kept Delph in uh, to be able to score a goal. All right, so 1-1 one, one in this game. I don't know, I'm not getting a good vibe from this Delph. Uh, and the reason why is because he's always uh, attacking for some reason. Against his instructions, against his work weights, I don't know what's happening. Still, we keep him in. Let's see, he has like, the lowest rating from all the players. Uh, maybe Simon is a bit lower, but he's only been playing for 10 minutes, so I'm not too impressed with this uh, Delft card so far. Yes? Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Oh, yes, Delft. I didn't have the team there to win this guy. If I was playing with a normal team, I probably would have finished this game by now. Anyways, we go to penalties. I hope Delft is not taking one, but uh, let's see. All right, there we go. We win uh, fairly so, I would say, but against a very, very good team, but probably a bad player. Uh, Delph was a disappointment. Uh, nothing really there. Let's see. I got one on four shots on target. His passing was good. His dribbling was good. And it's what you really would expect anyways. Uh, and one on two tackles. He's probably getting this very bad rating because of the shots he was taking. But I don't know why the first 20 or 30 minutes of the game, he was constantly in attack. It's probably because I start him in the camp position uh, from the formation. But you have to know that uh, your formation won't switch until the ball is out of play. So that's why Delph, for the first 20 minutes, I think the ball didn't go out of play, um, was constantly in attack. He was playing in that cam role. After the ball went out of play, uh, he switched to his uh, CM role. So if we see from his stats, and uh, we're going to see from his highlights, uh, having him as a CM, uh, that you don't expect to take many shots because he doesn't have a shooting, unless you improve it with some sort of a chem style. And I don't know how much that you can improve. Uh, he's, he's good because as you saw, his passing and his dribbling um, were 100%. So I think that's a best suited role for him. Um, so as you saw, the stats were with us, but anyways, we're not here for the game. At least we won it. Let's go back and have a look at this card. So, uh, Fabian Delph, uh, not really that great of a card. I don't think he's foot champions uh, material. I don't think it's a player that you want to take into weekend league. That's why I won't be doing a second game with this guy. If you are starting FIFA right now, during the holidays, but you just got the game uh, and your team it's just starting out now. Then the, I would say this is a great card for a starting team, for a Prem team um, that you can put in the team. You can actually play him as a CDM as well. You saw he did 
a few tackles there. He was good. So for a starting team, I, I would say he's good. But instead of him, you could probably get a Sissoko for a Prem team. And he's somewhere around, I don't know, four or five K now, which is a lot better than this guy. So this is going to be it for this uh, small review of uh, Fabian Delft. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.